Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a creation crate. This is the very first project of the series. I met the uh, creator of Creation Crate, David Heeman, weeks ago at the Atlanta Maker Fair and, uh, and he wanted me to make one. So here we go. You'll watch me make this whole thing start to finish in this video. Here's the lamp, and then we put the lamp over. So this right here is the build of the mood lamp. Hey guys, I'm back now, and I've just finished wiring up the project one, month one of Creation Crate, and you'll see that right here. And I've got three LEDs, I've got it all wired up to my Arduino board, and it's it's a mood lamp, so this is uh, this goes on top here, and you'll see the lights light up into, and it'll be really cool. But I'm going to take this off for now, just so that we can see uh, these lights light up. Actually, you're not going to see anything for a little while because I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my uh, PC here, and you see the Arduino board light up here, and nothing happens. All right, so we gotta put the software on here. This is where the coding comes in. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to, I'm gonna do a screen record starting right now. First thing we need to do is go to the Arduino website, arduino.cc main software. We need to download the software. Uh, so if, you have, if you've already done this, that's great. This is a one-time thing you've gotta to do to get this going right here. And um, so you present it with the online editor. They recommend that you download the IDE. It's a Windows installer unless you have a Mac. So here's the Mac version, Linux, they've got all sorts of things. So you click on, I'm gonna use my PC for this. They recommend this PC. So I've clicked on that. I'm going to download the Arduino software. And that's gonna take a few minutes. I've already done it. So I'm gonna cancel this right here. Uh, and then you, you're gonna go through the regular um, .exe install process and you'll come up with I'm opening the Arduino application here and it'll come up with a blank screen basically and this is what it starts out with so nothing's going on on my breadboard here none of the LEDs are up and we've got a brand new setup here so what we have to do is we have to uh, type in all of the code and this is how you learn type in all the code in our little thing here. So I'm going to kind of fast forward through typing in all the code. And here it is. I'm typing all the code. And after you've typed in all the code, make sure that you have your port set up and you found your Arduino. It's a genuine Uno here. Make sure that's all set up here. And then what you'll do is you'll verify it and it'll compile the sketch and it's done compiling. And then I will hit the upload button and it'll upload it directly to my Arduino board right here. And look at that, sure enough, it lit up. 
So I'm going to put the little mood lamp on and then that way you can kind of see how cool the colors are here. And this, there's this photo resistor here so when it gets dark it's going to light up some more. It'll get brighter as it gets darker. So this is how you kind of control what your mood lamp does is with this photo resistor here. And it, and it cycles through. So now it's, it's bright again. We'll try to get it back dark again and get these lights to light up. And here we go. Here's the mood lamp. What's really cool about Creation Crate is this isn't an exercise of just typing in some code and watching the lights light up. That, that, trust me, that's really cool and we should be doing that. But I love these exercises in the back. So let's talk about the exercises. Let's talk about question number one. Let's start by changing the overall brightness of the mood lamp and we need to find the variable that controls this and change its value. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. This variable controls the brightness of the lamp. Right here, power. So I believe this is it. So I'm gonna change this to 255. And I'm going to compile the sketch and I'm going to upload it. And there it goes. So hopefully it's hopefully you can tell it's a little bit brighter now. Maybe, maybe not. How it works. It looks brighter to me. So hopefully I've done exercise one correctly. I've upped the power. That was question one. Now let's move on to question number two. Question number two is make the lamp change colors faster. There are three ways of doing this. The first way is the easiest one. It's pulse speed equals five. This value controls how fast the mood lamp runs. You can replace this with any whole number. All right, so it's five now. I'm gonna change it to 10. And then I'm gonna verify. And then upload. And uh, see what that rings. And then here, it lights up again. And hopefully it'll go through all of the changes faster now, or maybe even slower. So that's one way of doing it. There are actually three ways. Um, the other way is to change the common math variable. So I'm gonna change the common math variable to 360. See what that does. Compile, upload. It goes off every time it does it, and then it comes back on. So. I think it's kind of hard to tell if, if the speed is changing a lot faster. But it's definitely a lot brighter now. So I, did, I think I did question one correctly. And then the last one is to change the loop. So we've got the loop going right here. And we've got a 0.001. If I take off one, make it 0.001. Compile, upload. Goes off. Comes back on again, it's bright. Oh wow, now it's really cycling through really fast. All right, so that definitely worked. All right, so now we're cycling through everything faster. We've made it a lot brighter. All right, question number three. Create a new user-defined variable to control how dark it needs for the lamp to turn on. Call this variable ambient limit. Use this variable to replace the default number in the code. All righty, so let's see. So we need to go up to where we declare our variables, right up here. And we've got ambient light. This variable stores the val value of the light in the room. So we're going to do int, and we want to call ambient limit. Okay. And we do want it to make it equal something. So we're going to make it equal ambient limit. Can range for 1024. So 1024. I guess I'll go for the maximum here. Ambient limit, and we need to figure out where this number is. In, in our codes. I believe it's down ambient light. If ambient light is greater than 600, so I believe it's at 600 right now. So I'm gonna type in ambient limit. And I think I don't wanna make it totally dark. Oh, maybe I do. All right, let's try. Amb if ambient light is greater than ambient limit, then we'll, then, the, then it'll start going up. So here we go, dice spell ambient limit, ambient limit. I spelled it correctly in both places, equals 1024. Verify, let's see if this works. It's done compiling, now I'm going to upload it. It's 
done uploading. Now it doesn't automatically come on right when I right when I start it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cover it up, make it really dark, and see if that gets it to go. Okay, maybe 1024 is a little too much. All right, why don't I set it to something a little bit easier? 800. Uploading, done uploading, and when, when you see me touch it now, there it goes. So 1024 is a little too much, but now it works. If I cover it up, there you see it, there you go. And that's the difference now. So set 800 is you have to cover it up. Before, just the lighting, it was set so low that it would just come on anyway. So this is the light dependent resistor right here. And now I set it to 800. So you really could set it to anything. So those are the three questions it asked. And it really makes you kind of think through. So I've learned about variables, creating a variable, making it easy to change a number in here. Uh, I learned about changing overall brightness and uh, changing the speed. So the bonus exercise is move the 2200 ohm resistor to another spot on the board without moving the light dependent resistor, make the project run. You have to use one of the extra jumper wires included in the box. So I'm gonna set the ambient limit back to where it was, 600. All right, so then it comes back. I'm gonna set it back the way it was, where it was, it was bright and it was kind of cycling through very quickly. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna show you how I first saw this project when I was at the Maker Fair. Unplug the project, it comes off, and then I've got, I've got a little, um, right here I've got this a uh, little power bank here and I'm just going to hook it up to this power bank and now you can use it without having it plugged into your computer. I think that's pretty cool and I'm going to unplug it I'm gonna, and I'm going to look at how to... So yeah, so if I move it to another spot, let's say I just move it over, over here for fun, then it just... then this is plugged into the power right here, so I'm going to keep the power plugged in and then this other side, I'll take another wire and I will take this and hopefully this will uh, to this end. This is, and then we'll see if it we'll see if it works here. And sure enough, it still still works. Still everything. I just so the exercise was just to move it over and just make sure the connections. Um, still work. So, hey, easy peasy. And that is month one of Creation Crate. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Creation Crate, uh, David Heeman, for, uh, for letting me demo this on my channel. I had a great time. Um, I think this is great for all levels to learn about electronics, to learn about technology as a starting point, how these breadboards work, how they're wired underneath. I think this is awesome for all ages, not just kids, but adults who want to get into technology as well. IoT and wireless and wired. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, please uh, check out the links below. Um, so thank you, Creation Crate. Um, we are launching an Indiegogo campaign because we also want to add augmented reality to this. Um, we have a bunch of other new technology features that we're adding. What am I going to be able to do with my phone? This is really cool. So what you'll do is you'll be able to take your phone and you'll see what you've got in front of you. And it may be the empty breadboard. When you see the empty breadboard on here, it'll be a little meme of me teaching you and showing you what to do. And you'll have like that component and it'll say, put the resistor here. And when you put it on there, it'll recognize that you got it in the right place and give you like thumbs up and you can go on to the next step. So it's like having a teacher in the classroom there step by step to show you what you're doing. We want this to be the most technologically advanced subscription box to teach electronics and coding on the planet. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. So you've heard it here at the Maker Fair here in Atlanta. And so this was Caroline. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week, hopefully. Uh, and uh, thank you. Bye.